besides a nice seat. Yeah, I like that. I do. That, and I gotta find my shoe before I trip and break my neck doing this video. Yeah, we don't want that. No. You were gone for eight months, and you come back. Yep. And you got this with you. Yep, sure do. Well, I'm gonna hand the camera over to you. I'm gonna let you go ahead and do the walk around. I am. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 1975 F-250 Camper Special. Real cream puff. Oh, yeah. It was kind of dirty. It had been sitting under an oak tree. We uh, had the bed off last week to repair the fuel sending unit and some other things. And I haven't got the bed washed, but that's on the agenda for today. But you can see the difference in the bed and just wash it with simple green. And Mr. Josh is going to open the hood so we can get right down to it. What we have here is a 390 four barrel. Super cooling package, air conditioning uh, that John Wells, I bought it from him. He was the original owner. He ordered it without power steering. Well, when you're driving down the road, you can't even tell. It handles like a Bugatti Bayron. Let me just tell you, it's got sway bars on it. And she gets on down the road pretty good. Here's his maintenance records he had on it. He bought this truck new. He ordered it in November of 74, and I believe it came in January of 75. I bought it from him. His son and I, his uh, middle son and I were childhood buddies. We grew up together and went all the way through school and stuff. And we have, this truck when it was new had a uh, camper on it, a 12 foot camper. And when we were old enough to drive and go out, we went on out to the, and did a lot of bird hunting and we've had a we've had it out quite a few times uh they picked it up uh, they moved up to uh central coast of california up to atascadero and uh john's getting on up there in the years of course i'm getting on up there in the years too uh we're pushing 60 so john's uh up in his 80s so i said you want to get rid of it and he said yep come and get it so here it is we went and got it it came from the factory with uh two-tone i think this is ginger metallic and I, I believe it's grabber orange i'll have to do a little bit more research on that but it's uh it was it was a real cream puff back in the day i mean it was an eye catcher the super cab windows still work uh, John was a member of Operating Engineers for a number of years. He retired back in 2000. So we're going to leave the stickers on there. This is the interior. we got the vents. Oh, there's a love note somebody left me. Oh, yeah, I owe him somebody money. This is it. The radio place in this one. We've been uh, digging around in the wiring harness, but... Uh, we've got a new floor mat. The floor mat was, the uh, carpet was, uh, had gotten wet and ruined. We took the seat out and the carpet out and the headliner's hanging down. Just from years. Now this, uh, this truck frequented in Tijuana, Mexico. And at some point, John was down there one day, probably fishing, and decided to get the interior done. And this here is a Mexican horse blanket that the vaqueros put on their horses before they put their saddles on. It's thick. It's durable, and it ain't going to uh, disintegrate anytime soon. Uh, the driver's seat's the same way. It's in the building. We have to put it back in. I uh, want to put our floor mat in, but this is all the interior. It's still a little dirty. We haven't got around to cleaning the whole thing up, just working on spots at a time. We had so much other stuff going on here. And you can see that it is string straight, not a dent in it anywhere. Uh, a couple of little minor details but nothing serious it had a shell on it it had a uh, bill bong billabong shell on it when i picked it up but by the time i picked it up in tascadero and got to yuma arizona the top of the shell was so rotten it was starting to cave in and by the time i made it to abo new mexico to my first destination uh it had to be taken off and unceremoniously tossed in a dumpster it was just completely rotted here's the bolts that was holding the sill on it, they just this it just came right off this is the inside of the bed don't have very many used miles on it it had a camper in it most of its life uh, 
they used it when they were building their house uh, to haul wood and stuff with, but it didn't really get beat up too bad. It had 16s on it from the factory. Uh, these aren't the original rims, but I got them. Uh, this thing has uh, beauty rings on it. And the original hubcaps. Which all of them are there and accounted for. And I told John I was going to put this thing on YouTube and send him a copy of it. So, here's what we're doing. The original tailgate, he didn't have a tailgate on it, uh, obviously, for the camper and the shell. The shell had a door all the way down the bumper, but you can see that the bumper is in excellent shape. Uh, towing package. You still see it's got a little, uh, it was sitting underneath an oak tree. For a number of years it's, i don't think it's been registered since 20 2010 i think it was the last time it was registered so that's how long it's been setting and uh behind this cap right here is a 22 gallon gas tank and you do have a 394 barrel that equals not very many miles per gallon especially when you got a big camper and towing a trailer or whatever else you're towing so the thing back in the day back in those days was put these saddle tanks in we have a left hand saddle tank and a right hand cell tank one on the other side and those operate with the main tank in conjunction with the main tank you have a gas gauge on the main tank but the saddle tanks right tank main tank left tank obviously you operate on the saddle tanks first so you have a gauge because when this thing runs out of fuel that's pretty much where it's going to be when you come back to get it. And having the large campers in here, I can't remember the name of the camper. Uh, a lot of these trucks had uh, these Hellwig overload springs on them. Those were the spring to have back in the day. The U-bolts are off of this one. Uh, otherwise, it would ride like a buckboard. So the U-bolts are off. i got to see if I can find them somewhere or get some if we ever decide to put them back on. All the mirrors and all the stainless, the stainless trim around the window. It's all actually in pretty good shape. It don't really have uh, too much damage to it. It's got a little bit, a couple of little bitty rusty spots, but uh, I believe we can work through those and get it fixed up. Oh, here it is. I like the headlights. It's got these little running, uh, little fog lights. Uh, there's a lot of fog out there in the Central Coast. And, John put these on there so he could find his way while he was going duck hunting or fishing or wherever the hell it was he was going. We didn't want him getting a wreck. And uh, it's got the bumper overrides on it. So if he did get bump somebody, it wouldn't do too much damage. Here it is. 1975 Ford F-250 Camper Special. I'm impressed. Yeah. Let's wash it back and see what it looks like. Put the hubcaps on. Take it out on the road. Burn the road up with it and see what she does. All right, yeah. All right. Thank you.